okay, another story. Once upon a time, once upon a time, I'll tell it. Yeah, don't let him tell it. Once upon a time in the rainforest, yeah, of Tulipum Pum. When the sun began to rise, oh, oh, yeah. And then what happened? Well, Coming, 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 coming. Hello, Eric the flute maker. Yes, yes, we can do a video on the old world flute set. Great idea, thank you. So the old world flute set comes with a neat bag with a strap that you can adjust. And it has five, uh, five flutes that we're going to uh, discuss. Uh, so, before I play the flutes, I do want to let you know that we are not going to abandon you in this. Uh, inside this big pocket for your other flutes, we have uh, some written lessons that you will be uh, getting. And um, also, I'm throwing in my how-to DVD, which will include other instruments that we build also, like the native flute and uh, the bamboo sax, uh, the Andean kenna, and uh, this uh, will also have uh, the oriental flute, uh, the major scale, the minor scale, uh, and the Arabian flute in it. Before I play them, I'd like to give you an idea of how to spit watermelon seeds across your Renaissance Coke bottle here. Let's talk about technique and then you'll hear the instruments. So this is a side-blown flute or a transverse flute. The best way to explain this is keep the lip soft, like a pillow. Press the flute so you have a good connection. And gently spit a watermelon seed across, not down into it, but across. As you roll, you find the sweet spot. It takes a little bit of practice. What you don't want to do is pucker. You get dizzy and it sounds very airy. If you need to look in the mirror, you want to look for a line and not a pucker. Got it? You want to use the pads of the fingers and squeeze and roll. Once you get good sound, you can ride the horse but you have to first get up on the horse. So you're going to have to spend some time if you don't know how to play a side-blown flute. It took me a day. I was very upset. At the end of the day, my life was changed. So let's listen to the flutes in the old world flute set, the oriental flute. Egyptian flute, very dramatic. you have more leverage to play it. And uh, the third flute would be a harmonic minor scale, more of a Renaissance sounding flute. This is what I call the counselor, but captures the Renaissance feel. exotic scales all closed is the root note so you want to kind of put your mindset there and then go up from the root do anything and then go back 
down to the root note to end your song. The next flute is what, what some people would call a, a 16 inch C Bansuri, which is a, a flute from India. I, I called it way back when I started making them in Brazil, the Brazilian major. Uh, in the Western way of thinking, it's a G major flute. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G, higher do. Second octave, you blow higher. In Bansuri world, this note is considered the root note of the, of the instrument, and so it would be called a C Bansuri. So here's a piece uh, from India. Great, uh, great flute. Um, and here's a neat thing. The secret to jazz, peace sign fingers, together as if you had scotch tape on it. And instead of playing Do, Re, Mi, Fa, now you're playing Do, Re, Fa. Second secret to jazz, the second hole, you bend or roll the note forward and back. secret to jazz humming so this is a very versatile flute here's an example uh, uh, playing in A minor where I will half cover a hole here half cover a hole here and start on A So, this is a very uh, versatile flute, and the last flute in the overall flute set is what I call the Arabian flute, flute for your Arabian nights. The Old World Flute Set at ericthefluteman.